Guys, I got my club out. I'm ready. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance part number six. We are back. Get those likes and support coming and let's get in the church with a bat. <laughs> That's a little bit hostile. Away. That's forbidden here. Okay, sorry. I'll put my weapon away. Ah, the nightingale. I have found you. Hello. I want to join. I have my club. I've got my shield. I'm ready to cause Here I am. trouble. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? You report for duty dressed like that? Oh. Well, I've got nothing better to do. You'd look more frightening with a pitchfork. Go and get kitted out first. Uh. Okay. I managed like this. I mean, I have the, the equipment I need. I managed like this. It'd be I'll fine. get by like this. If you insist. But don't blame me if you get laughed at. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Yes, that's me. Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honour to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So, how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? Cool ship. Ooh, that sounds interesting. All right. Um, I serve Radzik. I wanted to enter the service of Sir Radzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Sir Radzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. I like this. Patrolling, helping out, learning as we go. Learning on the job. Alright, let's do this. This is our church, St. Matthew's. St. Matthew's. Looks like a fine church. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lyper, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. That looks like a very nice bow. Can I have it? <laughs> Can I take it? It's a massive this bow. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? It's pretty fancy. The bailiff yes. and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. The swordsmith. Oh, I want to visit there at some point. I would imagine most of their weapons do cost quite a bit, though. What the hell is going on here now? Just go and check it out, Henry. We're having trouble, are we? Are you two arguing? Your people. I don't want you here. Is that manure pile not big enough for you? Wow. Is everything okay here? It's a beggar. Beggar Jane. What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. Uh, does Jane have beggar rights here? That's a good question. I don't know. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Fog drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. Let her stay. I think you ought to leave the poor woman be. Ha, 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 ha. Why should I? Because it may mean violence. <laughs> so I got plus three because I guess he's a, a commoner. So that's really seven. So my speech is pretty good because I told you to. I don't say that. Are you sure everything in your business is in order, Master Armourer? What are you trying to say? 
Well, it works. Just checking whether you're aware of the town ordinance saying the furnace of the forge must be at least two L's away from the nearest wooden building. Of course I know. So I can go to the rat house for the measure and check it. You know fire hazards are taken very seriously here. No need. I wouldn't want to put you to any trouble. Well, you can save me a lot of trouble by ending this little disagreement here reasonably. All right. I'll let her stay. Ah, oh, that didn't hurt, did it? Thank you. Thank you a hundredfold. You're welcome. Just stay clear of trouble in future, understood? Of course. Thank you. We done very well. Very well. That wasn't bad, but you'll be in that fool's bad books for a while. Oh. What are you doing? Don't, I just helped you out, woman. <laughs> I think we've done the right thing, though. I, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we did the right thing. No combat Your as well, are living which is good. Now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burgers got their way, your folk wouldn't be led anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fief over bit. to the young lord, Sir Hans ah, Capon. Watch where you're going! Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God Have rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Fingers crossed. So where to next? I guess we're looking for more trouble. That one ended obviously in conversation and it ended okay. This one could get violent. Who knows? Hello, my lady. Doing a great job there. <laughs> Looks exactly the same. Hello, little doggy. Be friendly. Don't attack me. I'm innocent. I've got no meat. I promise. I feel like a town's guard. I feel good. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. When are the markets then? What day are the markets? There's a lot of people wanting fights actually, like paid fights. There's a there's, there's definitely some money in that. But I don't ideally want to do that. Don't wanna, I don't want to fight to get my money. We've also got the baker's shop here. And that mad merchant Wolfram Prude. Prude has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. So apparently there's a pretty lass around here. I wonder if we can uh, we can woo her. Maybe. But there's apparently she's locked up, so. Here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The others up by the gate. We'll be going there later. This could be quite a long mission. It could be very long. It's not even evening yet, so make sure all the taverns lock up. We don't want to ruckus late at night. Let's move along to the inner bailey. The huntsman? Perhaps we can get some uh, hunting quests for certain animals or something. Maybe. Paid quests. Look here. Ooh. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Uh oh. What are you gonna do? You're just gonna attack him? He just needs some money. He needs some coin. That's another church. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanush saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. I feel a bit bad, but okay. I guess he was quite close to the church. Here's the forge. Ooh. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. 
You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father. God Whoever save, you. Henry. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Right, so this is a tavern. Are we going to close it down? Make sure everyone's out. We might meet some drunks. Alright, everything seems fine so far. Oh, there's a gate at the back. Ooh. <laughs> Get so excited about random stuff. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town. It continues along the Sassau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill. Lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof. Merhoyed. Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. It's a mighty fine town. Yes, it's a little bit confusing and a lot to take in, but we'll get there eventually. This is the perfect way to get used to it, I guess. Oh, not more folk. You're more no beggars. Help your neighbour. Good day, Henry. I can't do it, I'm afraid. I need all the coins I can get. There's not a whole lot of trouble. It's been a lot of walking, but we've had one issue so far. Hello little piggies. I'm pretty sure if that pig went to escape from that, that pen, it could. Quite easily. Yeah, there's a lot of beggars, isn't there? Sigismund took everything I God had. be with you, Benesh. How peace. goes it? Have well enough, passion. Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? In the tavern. Oh, He was no. thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. So he's supposed to be guarding and he plans to the drink. Well, 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 we can't have that, can we? So naughty. So bad. Oh, look who we found. What the fuck are you doing here when wow. you're supposed to be on the gate? <laughs> Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. Uh, I... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Or God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! Get back to your post. Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. <laughs> We're going to drink now as well. Okay, fair enough. Let's have a drink then. That fool got me all worked up. Me too. <laughs> me as well. The lazy bastard. My words exactly. And just when we need every pair of eyes... You never know when the Cumans might creep up on us. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? For some reason I can't move my head. So, sounds Why good, not? I guess. Can I actually look at the table? Okay, so I've got to try and reach a certain like, target. Uh, one of the dice is worth 100 points. Five is worth uh, 50. All right. Fine. Uh, three of a kind is worth uh, 100 points multiplied 
by the number given. So, four times... Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I think I've got it. I think. <laughs> Alright, so I'm trying to get a total of 2,000. Well, so he's currently got 450. I want to select, 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 and then score and roll, score and pass, score and pass. That's 1,000. I will take that. And score and roll again. See what we get. Guess we could do with another five. Greetings, Henry. So I'm going to take those. Uh, score and pass. Yeah. So I've got 1,200. So we to do. So I got two two fives. So I'm gonna score and roll again. Can we get? Another five. Select that. Cheers. Another one. And roll it again. God be with you, Henry. Oh, we have. Wow. So that's a decent amount of points. That's 500 points. I mean, I can either have a lot of points. Sure, that's just going to go over. I need. Oh, damn it. That's so annoying. Good I'll never scout. I'm not sure what happens. Just score and pass. See what happens. That's gone. I I've won it! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Sweet! Yeah! He does not look happy. Right, for some reason we just we just aren't moving right now. Uh, we played the game. I won the game. But nothing's happening. So... I don't know what to do. And this has happened for a while now. I tried to reload it. And it's still not working. Great. Just gonna... Yep, just, just sit here. Great. Great, 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 great. How long do I have to stand here for? And sit, well, why do I have to do this for? Right, if I get up, nothing happens again. Oh, it worked! I just quit the game. Okay, great. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? What is it? I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind. The bell is hanging outside the Rat House. Ring three times, then go to the Trader's Tavern by the Market Square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Hey, watch it. I'll remember you. Right, so what happened there was I was in... I was playing that game and it wouldn't load to this, like... It wouldn't load forward, basically. It wouldn't, like, fast travel in time and skip to this event. It just wouldn't work. So I had to reload it play the game and then quit out of the game and then this happened it worked so yeah if you guys happen to get stuck i guess that's some sort of weird glitch i honestly don't know we're gonna ring these tavern bells and close the taverns no doubt there'll be some angry angry drunk people but we'll not we'll probably disagree where are these bells is it just like one big bell taverns all close Final customers! Where is this bell? I'm guessing it's this A. Honestly, got no idea. Where is the bell? Where is the bell? Oh, there it is. I see a bell! I'm gonna ring it. And see what happens. Is my oh, weapon out? You, yeah. Use. Ring the bell. It is done. So we can close all of them. Close Trader's Tavern by the Market Square. Alright. I will get it done. Let's close them all. As I sprint around. I look really I look really eager to close these taverns. I don't know why. Close up shops, lads and ladies. It's time for Betty Times. This is the first oh. I just passed out. I didn't. <laughs> it's a cutscene. <laughs> Let me guess. 
someone's causing and trouble. the cannon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> 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 no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good cannon on his pig. <laughs> Did they do find him? <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsia on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the Reverend was sound asleep in the pig sty. <laughs> <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. <laughs> it seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God <laughs> save their bacon. <laughs> so, Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't <laughs> forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he? He's hiding under the table, maybe. <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough. You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Oh, oh wow. You went to fight a drunk man. A lord. A nobleman. We are in trouble. <laughs> we are definitely in trouble after this. We may even go to prison. Oh, this does not seem like a wise idea right now. This does not seem wise. Oh, yeah. oh, straight in the face. But then you need me back, so. Take that insolent pop a lesson. I wonder if we can, oh, we can use some of our new skills, like the block. Go on then, attack me, fool! You alright? Fine. Damn it, too close. Screw you. I hate these fist fights, they're so awkward. People just like standing around. You just kick me. Oh, it stopped. I got like one punch off. Crucifix! What in the name of Christ is happening here? Well, answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence! to- Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans. How many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting? Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Well, him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight! Sir, I have responsibilities to the bailiff. Not I anymore! Can't... Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. 
that could have gone slightly better. I mean, he started on me. What do you want me to do? I've got instructions. I don't care who this man is. He's breaking the curfew. Get out. Get out. So apologies if this video is a little bit short. I've had a bit of a bad day, I won't lie. And also this quest has been hellish to complete. So many glitches and stuff. Henry, it's not been good. I'm glad you stopped by. Hello. Um, <laughs> I was trying to do my outro. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching, leave a like on the video, and I'll see you guys for part number 7, fairly soon. Bye bye.